Hey guys, sorry if I sound terrible. I'm just getting over a pretty crappy cold. But anyway, yeah, there has been a pretty cool patch today that I wasn't expecting. Probably you weren't either. Um, it's battery chargers. Really cool. So you've got a large battery charger and a small battery charger. Uh, hook them up to a generator and yeah, you can charge batteries now. So that's really cool. Uh, it means that we don't have to just throw them away when they're depleted now or break them. Well, you can still break them into lead plates, but you don't have to. So that's really neat. Um, it's a very simple system too. Um, it's literally drag and drop. Bam. Do three at a time and then large charger. Three, you know, car batteries. I don't know if there's like a limit for how many batteries you can have in there, except for the space that's available. But yeah, it's really cool. You put this guy in there with these going. You can mix and match. This is a small one. Obviously, not as much room. You can't get a car battery in there, which makes sense. But uh, yeah, if you actually hover over the battery, you can see it's got a you know amount that's discharging per hour, time until empty, how many amp hours. It's got a max capacity percentage now. So it's really cool. They've completely reworked how the batteries work. They're a little more realistic, really. I mean, they make a lot more sense now. So, yeah, just turn your generator on and stick your batteries in. It's it's really simple. That's it. These can be crafted as well. Um, not sure. There they are right there. Small battery charger. Ooh, need an electrician's toolkit. Those can be hard to find on this server. <laughs> But uh, you'll be all set on the other ones. Where's the big guy? Here's the big guy here. Yeah, quite. you need quite a bit, actually, <laughs> for some of these. But yeah, craft them up. Get to it. Charge your batteries. Very cool. Another thing. Tobacco. You got tobacco seeds, the dried leaf, and you can roll a tobacco cigarette now, which is really cool. Obviously, you guys know smoking's bad. I don't endorse smoking, blah, blah, blah. But uh, in, this, in scum, it's a good thing. Uh... When you get exhausted up here in your health status thing, you'll see E1 or C1 or whatever it is, exhaustion. Uh, that means that you uh, need to have a break. And one of the best ways to do that in this game is to roll up a smoke now. <laughs> so you literally go rolled tobacco, piece of paper, bundle of tobacco. I think it uses just one use. See, yep. So I've, I've tested it a couple times, obviously, but yeah, it takes it takes one or two uses, and then bam, you got yourself a smoke. And then you just light that up, and that starts curing your exhaustion. It's pretty cool, pretty cool mechanic. I like it. But anyway, this is like the big thing. This is what everybody's going to be really excited about. They added a night vision scope, and it's got a cool name. It's called Vampire. So it's awesome. Uh, if you take it in your hands, right click. You can use it like that can't zoom in or out it kicks you out but uh you can use it as like a monocle if you're hard up you don't have a binocular or something so you can use it handheld um you just take a battery drag it in there turn it on bam there it is you're blind because it's daylight <laughs> hold on we'll let's look at this we'll change it to nighttime and you guys can see what it looks like yeah obviously uh the m16 version if you have a weapon that has a rail built into it like the M16 does. You can just drag that on there. Fits perfect. Uh, for like the AKs and such, you gotta have the RIS adapter, which is, you know, pretty typical. Most AKs are like that. There you go. Got yourself a night vision scope on there. Of course, just as before, you go to turn on. So yeah, let's set time for what was it 23 23 okay obviously i'm on single player right now <laughs> so you turn that on and bam night vision so that is pretty awesome it's got pretty good zoom too it's not bad it's not a good place for scoping here we go so it, you can reach out pretty well with this uh with this new scope so it's really cool it has the same, you know, windage and hold breath and all that, just like any other sniper scope. So that's really awesome. Welcome addition. Very cool. Wasn't expecting it. And let there be light. So yeah, really happy about that. Uh, we knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was going to be so quick. 
get on the get on the table. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. Now the M1 medical helmet. This thing's really cool. Um, and honestly, the coolest thing about it is that it was just requested. Like somebody asked Tomislav for this. Like I don't know, a, a couple weeks ago, maybe, maybe a month ago, and they're like, yeah, let's make that and give it to him. So there it is. Whoever asked for that, thank you. <laughs> you got us a new item. So there's your, your M1 medical helmet. It's really cool. It's got a little skull and crossbones ace under the sleeves card there. Really sweet. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's a, uh, you know, there's a bunch of bug fixes and stuff too. You can go look at the patch notes on, on Steam. Uh, just came out this morning. So uh, yeah, big update. I'm completely unannounced. Just bam, dropped it on us. There it is. But yeah, if you guys like these kind of videos, if you want to see more of these like uh, impromptu hey, here's the new stuff, we'll show it to you, type videos. We can do more of these. Got a blown smoke everywhere. We can do more of these. I don't I don't mind doing this. They're really easy to set up on single player and show you all the little all the little details, you know, so I don't mind doing it. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, next time something new drops, we'll check it out. But anyway, that's going to do it. We'll see you in the next one.